Hey guys, welcome back to more Isaac. This time we'll be doing a regular run, I think, and I think it's finally time to fix the cursed post-it note for Eden, since it only has the lamb on it. So that I can get a, a heart kill, and we can get another Isaac kill as well, I think, towards unlocking the Polaroid. I think that might be the move. But anyway, Eden, if you don't remember, starts with two random items. Hopefully we'll get something interesting. We seem to have shoop de whoop and little battery which is actually it's actually pretty good i think um if i can get some bombs i'd also like to mess around with that room this is actually a great start as well because eden's stats are also randomized and it looks like i have a decent fire rate and good damage so i'm actually quite happy with this that and i also have soul heart protection and not just one heart so this is a really good eden start to be honest like there's a lot i can do with this i can't believe that hit me Oh, this, this dingle is on another level. It should be fine, though. Still gotta go find the iron room on this floor. Uh, speed up and size down is fine. I can see forever is, is great. I always do that in this room. I always walk back down into it and get killed. Or not killed, hit. Fortunately, taking red heart damage right now doesn't really mean anything. I will remember this is here. I don't want to take a, a heal just yet because I'd rather save it for... I'd rather save it in case I find a sacrum, I can probably do something with it. Thank you for spawning in that one spot where I can't hit you. Uh, I think I will... You know what? Before I waste a bomb on getting money, let's see who's actually in the shop first. Uh, I think this is probably worth bombing. It's absolutely... I mean, this is already a good deal. And I think, honestly, this is a good deal too. Well, on paper, it was a good deal. Uh, I think I will actually buy... I want this. I want the Tarot Cloth. This basically doubles the effect of all my cards that I use. So I actually do want this. And I think I will buy the key because I'm going to hope it pays out with something that makes is worth more than a Soul Heart. If not, at least giving me enough money to buy said Soul Heart. It's fine. I'm also going to go in here and pop the Judgment card, because if I get a Demon Beggar, this could be big Judgment. I did not, though, unfortunately. I was hoping I could get a Demon Beggar and use all those hearts to play out. Alas, it was not meant to be. So, Little Battery, as you may have noticed, isn't really doing anything. I don't think I've explained uh, Little Battery before. Sometimes he can freeze enemies, and sometimes he can give me a charge on my item. So he's pretty good when he actually works. Clicker is not something I have any interest in. Clicker essentially allows you to change character. And I have no interest in that. I think I'm actually going to take Fuka Balao because damage ups are always nice. Uh, this didn't, this floor didn't pan out as well as I would have liked, because I really would have loved to, I really would have loved to, oh my god, I did it again. That room is the worst. I almost did it again. I was, I was going back to get health. I'm not going to play those beggars. I remembered that time, finally. Anyway, let's move on. Hopefully I can avoid taking red heart damage because I would like to get my devil deal on this floor if I can help it. Bomb is good. Pop the book up a lot in this room. I pop the book of Belial in a room with nothing but flies. Just a random key. Oh! 
Whoa, 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 that was that was very close. I have no idea how I avoided it, to be honest. Oh, the creep! Okay. There was a lot going on in this room. I'm surprised I somehow avoided all, all the damage. And didn't get a single drop for all that effort. Oof. Really kind of close on these rooms. I got a charge from Little Battery. So I guess that's cool. Oh, come on! Oh, what is this? Why are they f Oh, God. Stay away from me! Okay. That was a mean room. That will blow this up, because there's a chance it could have crawl space. I can't believe I almost died in that room. That would have been tragic! CD. I don't think I can get that rock. I think it's just far away enough that I can't get it in one bomb. Which really sucks. It's in the iron room. Metal plate is fine. I guess. It just gives me a chance to not take damage. But it's not as amazing as it sounds. It's fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not really... It's not gonna make me pog. And I'm also probably not gonna get my devil deal on this floor because of, uh... Because of all the damage. Oh, I did anyway, apparently. I do not want to go in, though. I want to get angel runs, I think. Since I haven't really done as many angel runs. Uh, uh, I'm not going to check the curse room because I want to keep my soul heart. I guess we just go... Alright, caves one, or catacombs one, I guess. I would like if I could blow a, a fly up right here to push this key out. That would be great. Close. Now, now less close. I give up. Soha is good though. Pop the book of the law. The game's gonna just throw a battery at me, at me as well. Useful. Hoping for uh, any. Honestly, I don't even know what I would really want from an I am room. That is okay. It's triple shot, which I feel like is pretty self-explanatory. But it does. It's definitely good enough to take. I need you to stay away.
This run has got me on edge. I feel like some of these rooms are just terrifying. Just go straight to this. Bambino! I hate Bambino. Fortunately, Triple Shell made that way easier. Speed up is fine. Not great, but it's fine. I don't really need to go to the shop because I have five cents and I'm too lazy to clean out the floor. So off we go. Oh, I got the freeze effect from my battery. Finally. I was wondering when that was going to kick in. So if you hit the button in the center of this room, it will lower the spikes, but uh, I don't know why I would do that when I can just tra have them trapped here. Now I can push the button. And we can leave. That's a lot of money. Definitely, uh, if I see the shop, I'll be looking to go in now. I don't know what protected me from that hit. Because I'm pretty sure li Little Battery doesn't do that. Oh, uh, you know, it must have been the metal plate, actually. Uh, Mom's Pearl is good. It's a 10% chance to replace Red Hearts with Soul Hearts. So I will be holding on to that, I believe. Because it's just a chance for more health, which I don't feel too comfortable with. I said that and I was about to go into the curse room just for the sake of it because I I hope on curse rooms way too much. I don't think the curse room is worth the risk right now. That was such a clutch freeze from Little Battery. Because <laughs> I definitely was taking damage in that room. I also have no idea how I got through this room without taking damage. But you know what? Sometimes I'm just a god. Uh, we'll definitely be taking Little Brimstone. A little brimstone is just brimstone, but on a familiar, which is fine. Freeze was nice as well. Just leave the room and come back in. What we got? BFF! I will absolutely be taking BFF because that makes Little Brimstone do double damage. And Little Brimstone does decent damage already, so definitely happy, definitely happy with that. <laughs> uh, we'll take the health and we'll go into the angel. Circle of protection is fine. I'm not going to fight the angel because I don't plan on doing Mega Stay in this run. Because we want to get to Isaac. And make sure we get the Polaroid so we don't have to worry about relying on... Uh, random warps anymore. Especially since I've already done Dark Room as... Eden, so I don't really want to go to the dark room anymore. At least not as Eden. Uh, oh, hang on, there's a. I didn't even notice the door down. That happens a lot to me. I feel like I just clean out a room and leave the way I came in because I didn't even realize there was an actual door. Uh, Conehead. Now that's interesting because now I have Conehead and Metal Plate, and both of those items give me a chance to ignore damage. 
Uh, one is one, metal plate, I believe, gives you a chance to ignore a bullet specifically, but cone head is a chance to just avoid damage. So combining those together, uh, I'm just never going to get hit again. I'm immortal now. Those are the rules. Easy enough sloth fight. Bob's Rotten Head. I feel like I get Bob's Rotten Head like every time I kill this dude. Uh, maybe the secret? Oh. I'll keep. I'm gonna keep hold of the Book of Bilal because I, I like it. I got hit. That's some that's some BS. I uh, don't really want to play these Bombos. I don't have any money, so I guess we're just gonna go. What I'd really like at this point is some damage for Eden, because while I have little brimstone, I really just don't have any actual damage increases for Eden. Like, the Book of Bilal is a damage increase, but it's not, you know, you know what I mean. Like, I want an actual, I want a statistical permanent upgrade. Boost of pack is whatever. Two of diamonds is pretty good. Full the moon. Oh, actually, two of diamonds is fantastic. Um, we will absolutely use two of diamonds. Okay, never mind, it didn't do it. I thought it was going to proc twice because of Tarakoth, but it didn't. Um, uh, I could get... So I could get Bookworm here, but I could also get the Rosary, which would get me Bookworm later, and it's a Tears upgrade, and it's three Soul Hearts. Uh, I'm not picking up... The Mire is okay, but I don't feel like I really need it in this run. I think I want the Tear Ray upgrade. All right, and I want to. I want to use the moon. Uh. Oh yeah, I have old bandage. I forgot about that. So that's actually good. I think I do want red heart spore because if I have old bandage, that means I can get uh more high, more heart elf drops. Uh, I'm gonna go into the shop, and I think I'm probably just gonna donate and buy this. I wasn't gonna buy it, but I changed my mind. Just stock up on the health. Uh, we absolutely will take the Joker card, because if we don't get an Angel Room, then we can force it, which is really nice. You always want to have a Joker card when possible, because if the game just decides that you're not allowed to have an Angel or Devil Room, you can just kind of say... F you. Uh, any money I can find on this floor will also be good because I can just donate it. I'm not overly worried about donating to the machine in this run, but it is an option. realize this guy was still alive. Fortune teller is not that interesting to me. A little brim is just doing work. Well, at least we have our key for the item room now. So hopefully we can get something good from there. Is the secret in here? Oh, okay. Would have liked to have the secret in there because I could have sneaked into the curse room for free. This is a weird room. 
I am playing on hard mode, so I don't feel like these rooms should be appearing. But I'm not gonna complain. Magic fingers would be better if I had more damage, but I do not, so I will leave them. Uh, I was going to say the secret room should be here. Uh, I will blow these guys up and hope for... I did see the tinted rock, but I was really hoping that that would pay out. Fortunately, I have another bomb here. I love the tinted rock anyway. Uh, alrighty then. Probably gonna play this. Oh my god, Conehead. Actual champion. Yeah? I'm, I'm happy with that. Absolutely great trade. I was, ho I was hoping to get more money, to be honest. But, you know, it's completely fine. We'll just donate the money we have. Or not. Sometimes, sometimes you just get greed. To be fair, I actually temporarily forgot greed existed. Which is strange, but... Maybe we'll find a use for the money. Like a demon, uh, not a demon, a beggar on the next floor. Money still has a use, it's just not really, uh... Like as likely. Come on. Okay, so we will take the negative. We won't go to the devil room. We will go in here. So... I haven't done boss rushes either. So I think this is worth doing. Normally I wouldn't do it on a build like this, but... With Book of Belial being able to stack, I'll, I'll eventually start doing more damage. This is fine. Boss Rush has 15 waves, if I remember correctly, so that's one. I'm not going to keep track of it, though. You may keep track of it if you would like. You out there, the viewer. I could explain who all the bosses are. So that uh, that blob was Gish, and this is the Forsaken. Turning it into a study session. This is the Widow, and this blob is Monstro 2. There they go. Uh, this guy on the left is Loki, and this is the Blighted Ovum. Uh, the one on the right, the horseman on the right who just vanished his war, and this heart and mask combo is the Mask of Infamy. You don't ever really need to know these boss names, but it's something to talk about. Uh, so the boss on the left here is Gemini, and the boss on the right, the Horseman, is Death. Oh no, sorry, this is Famine, not Death. I thought it, I thought it was Death. I didn't really get a good look. Uh, this is the Husk, I believe, and this is Chad. Yes, that is his name. His name is just Chad. Uh, this is Big Fay, and that is the Frail. Uh, 
this is Chubb, and the horseman there is just the headless horseman. Uh, most notable feature about the headless horseman is uh, his lack of a head, as you may have noticed. Or, I guess technically it's not a lack of a head because the head just vanished. Now it's a, now it's got a lack of a head, but. Uh, this is Gabriel, the angel, and the boss above me is Megamore. I'm honestly, I feel I'm waiting for me to forget one here. This is Little Gertie and obviously Monstro. I have no idea what wave I'm on, by the way. I have not been keeping track. Uh, this is the end. The little, the little gurdy looking things are gurglings, and that was Steven. Uh, Steven is a reference to one of Edmund's older games, which is I think it's called Time FC UK. Uh, this. Blob thing is fistula, which splits up into smaller fistulas, and this is the Carrion Queen, which looks like Chubb, but more bony. Uh, the horseman on the right is Pestilence, and the angel there is Uriel. Typically, you just have to remember that Uriel is blue and Gabriel is red. Uh, Uriel is weaker than Gabriel, so I don't know why I got Uriel second. Um, these bosses, the worms, are Larry Jr. And this boss is just called the Dark One. Undefined has appeared in the basement. Now we got Scorpio for our effort. Okay, so we're done with Boss Rush for Eaton. As you can see, there's a little star on the post it note now. Actually, oh, I just left, damn it. I was pretty sure there was a thingy in that I didn't pick up a half so hard. That's fine. Uh, I could have checked the Devil Room with Joker, but I'd rather keep my hearts and try and get an Angel Room instead. Uh, if I don't get a deal on this floor, I will most likely just take whatever I get. If I get a Devil Deal on this, something decent in there, I'll take it. Since I would like to actually be Isaac this run. It's not kind of protection is protecting me more than I would have expected it to. So I'm content with that. Uh, if I don't get a deal on this floor, what I'll do is I'll go to the curse room, uh, take the heart to go in, and then just warp to the... Oh no, I can't really do that, because I'll, I'll just get put back to the curse room. My plan is in shambles. I will open this. Orphan Socks is a fantastic item. It is a speed up, and it makes it so that you can step on spikes, as well as creep is very good. I'm very happy to get the four for the socks. So it means I don't have to worry about as much about spikes in a room anymore. The creep is also an added bonus. It means I won't get pinned as much. Since I have a heart on the floor, uh, I will check the curse room since it'll only take one heart. I guess Orphan Socks also protects you from spikes on the way in. So, I guess it's like fly in that sense. That's pretty good. Either way, nothing of... Uh, I mean, the soul hearts are nice, but obviously I didn't need them, so nothing special in the curse room. But it wasn't bad, so that's, you know, that's positive. We'll take the virus. I'm already at max speed, but it is a syringe that allows me to get spun potentially, which is more damage. Uh, but I doubt I'm going to get two more syringes at this point in the game, since I only have one real boss left that's going to give me an item. Keep 
maybe. I think this boss is called Polycephalus, and it's usually a caves boss, but in the womb it becomes like this normal enemy. Some of the some of the early bosses do just have well, do just end up having rooms. I, I guess I will go back and get these hearts in the curse room because even though I'm gonna take damage going in or coming out, um, I will have I'll get one extra heart. Out of this. It's, it's just worth it. Maybe. The sausage is a fantastic item. It's a an all stats up, and all stats up so usually good. Uh, I'm surprised with the amount of secret room items I've been finding, to be honest, because usually I don't find that many. I haven't taken many pills this run. You know what? I'm gonna keep it that way. Because I don't really want to potentially get that. I don't feel like I need... I don't feel like any good pills are gonna be worth it enough to take right now. And by that I mean I'm gonna go back and take it because that's just who I am. Wasn't anything anyway. Is this still win one? This is a big floor. It's the Fred. Oh wait, Creek doesn't hurt me, I don't have to worry about it. Even better. Uh, Angelic Prism, sure. I said before I wasn't going to fight this, but if I happen to find a sacrifice room in the cathedral, why not? At the very least, I'm going to make sure I fight Isaac. We're definitely going to fight Isaac this run. That's a promise. It's just if I happen to find a sacrifice room, we could always go to Mega Satan as well. Potentially. Trisagion has appeared in the basement. That's a pretty alright I am, I guess. Um, I will take this. I'll take red hearts over soul hearts, just in case. Alright, Euro 2. I would really like to find a treasure room uh, that has a donation machine in it. I know that that's a very big ask because it's just not likely to happen at all. Like, it's not likely for me to even find a treasure room. But, uh, you know, it would be kind of cool. Okay, I took damage going into the curse from that time. I guess it must have been Conehead that was protecting me before twice. It's kind of crazy. Hmm. Uh, what are we going here? It's a four dice room, so we can technically reroll a pedestal if we find one. I don't know what benefit that would serve, but we could do it. Actually, I do. If we get an angel or devil room from the boss, and we look inside and we don't like it, I have the joker card available. So we could use that to our advantage. That could be good. Should be easy enough. We did get the devil deal, which is good. 
So what do we have? Guppy's tail and Gimpy. These items are fine, but not fine enough to take. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna leave. We're gonna go re-roll the items on the floor. Cool. Check it out. Apparently, that doesn't change anything. I have learned something today. Interesting. Well, that's fine, I guess. Wasted my Joker card, but I mean, I don't really, I don't, I don't think I'll suffer too much from missing out on wearables on this floor. Hopefully. I feel pretty confident in my in my ability to be eyes on this build, so. And again, if we find a... Oh, actually, now we can't beat Mega Satan as well, unless we find another angel statue somehow, like in Super Secret Room or something. We need a... Uh, no, wait, if I found a Saxon, we would just get the angels, never mind. So yeah, we're basically, if we find a Sacrifice Room, we'll probably play it. But if not, then this run just ends Isaac, which is fine. You no, know, sometimes it's okay for a run to just take its course. Special. Oh, I'm so glad I came in here. Pact is a damage and tier 8 upgrade, which are my two favorite stats. So as you can imagine, I quite like the Pact. Oh, I'd really like an ab the ability to play a donation machine right now. Oh, not play a donation machine, but donate. I'd like the ability to donate right now. Soul Hearts on the ground. I wonder if that's Mum's Pearl doing that, or if they were just Soul Hearts naturally. Because, I mean, it's only supposed to be like a 10% chance. Kinda sucks. Alright, so we found the boss. But we should- I'm still gonna do my due diligence and take a look around, make sure there's no sacrifice room. So there's quite a lot of hearts on the floor, too. We should check the secret room. We should check the secret room. Alright, never mind. <laughs> uh, that is book one. So that's good. Sometimes we'll fire a fourth shot, I believe, since we already fire three. I, I think it also makes the spread of my three my three shots tighter, which is good. I don't remember. Either way, it looks like this run's ending at Isaac, so we should easily be able to handle Isaac with this build. We're very strong. Oh yeah, this is, this is a 
take book. And we go. Alright, so we unlocked Blank Card, which is great actually. Blank Card is an item that it's an active item that lets you use the card you're holding over and over again. Uh, it might not be as good as it used to be because of repentance changing the way it works. But anyway, that is Eden done. And yeah, I think that's it for this episode. If you if you I you know I didn't say this last time. If you like the video, please remember to if you like the if you enjoyed the video, please remember to like it. I do dearly appreciate it. And uh subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one.